Graffiti in its rawest form is an act of rebellion to get your name up. By way of doing that, you do vandalize people's property. New York had the crackdown, LA had the crackdown, Chicago, they treat spray paint like a kilo of heroin. You will go to jail if they catch you with a pack of spray paint. You go to jail. You know, isn't that always the case when, when authority deems it unfit for creatives to have a little more uh, space to do what they want? You know, they crack down. We have to keep in mind, if you left home for the day and you came back at four, there's four people that tagging your house, how would you feel? And so if you look at it in that context, there is no free property out there. I think graffiti is the last frontier, you know what I'm saying, of getting the art to the people. Because it's direct, it's ground zero, and it's normally in the neighborhood. Graffiti to me is really just their only real true form of self-expression. It is a release, destroying things, vandalism, a sense of being re rebellious. But out of that madness and chaos, comes the beauty of creating images and murals such as street art. Graffiti is a way for people to free themselves and to free others at the same time. What I think the murals have done in the city is like holding up a mirror to people and saying your life counts, you matter. Because the murals are about people's histories and stories their triumphs, their struggles. I wish more people opened their minds and could see the honesty and the purity and the beauty of the art form than more of the bad aspects of it. Because people have been writing on walls since before we were writing on paper.